What's going on guys, it's McFeez here, back with the final episode of Dragonborn DLC for Skyrim. Now we enter the domain of the final boss, the villain of this DLC, the one you've been trying to kill throughout the start of the DLC. And here he is, the myth, the legend, Myrak. And we are going to go face to face, toe to toe. Weapon to weapon, mano a mano against this mythical dragon born person. <coughs> Excuse me. And he was the dragon born before us, I believe. If story, if I followed the story correct. Excuse me. And. He popped up during the story whenever you killed a dragon and stole its soul so you was able to get the dragon souls throughout the DLC if you was on the DS DLC island. So if you didn't have enough dragon souls you had to do what I did which I didn't show you because it was off camera. I had to go back to Skyrim the mainland and try and farm some dragon souls there and that was quite eventful I was going to show it because two dragons showed up and I had to fight two of them but one of them disappeared so I only had to kill one in the end so that's why that didn't get shown ok we'll jump into this fight as you can see I have my ebony bow out using steel, steel arrows I probably should change to a more powerful arrow but I believe I do not have any I still have a lot of healing potions from the last fight we did to entertain that dragon. If you did not see that, that is the previous episode, you can check back on that and watch it and keep up to date of where we are. Okay. So he's teleported over here. Oh, what's he doing? He's almost dead. This is a bit too easy for a Skyrim fight. It's more like a boss, it's more like a normal person we have to kill. Oh, but okay, let's see what he's doing. He's summoning dragons, killing them and regaining his health. Okay. Maybe this is how it plays out, or I have to kill him before he does that. Mm, not too sure. Not too sure. But we'll see. And from reading on the wiki... I believe we can get to have his uh, clothes, armor, and weapon, which would be pretty cool if we do. Um, let's see, oh, okay. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Should I take these or not? I uh, thought I'd be carrying too much. Um, let's get rid of all these books. In case you're wondering where I got all these books from, it was the episode before. There was books upon books upon books upon books. So many books, I could literally open a library and retire and just live off all that gold. But I don't need gold as you can see, I have 181,660 gold, 60 gold, all done legitimately, because I collect things, I am a hoarder in this game. Now can I kill the dragon before I, nope, okay. Well. Gold arrows. I would like to take them just because I can, but I am going to be overweight, so. See if I can get rid of some stuff inside this dude that I don't really need. Or that I have. And um, try and lighten some more the load so I can try and get some. <coughs> So far this guy is not really difficult. 
it's not doing a lot of damage and whatever it does I can just heal it with healing potions so okay he's at half health now he's been at half health for a while where's he gone? don't kill my dragon dragon kill him Oh, was that my dragon? No, my dragon. Whew. I thought it was my dragon. With a high and great sword. Hmm. Well, what do we have in here? Yeah, I know this is a bit boring, I apologize. Because it has to be done. Just so I don't know, it doesn't have to be done really. But it's the style I choose to play and it's just it just comes natural to me, so if it's a bit boring just skip forward. Shouldn't be too much longer. Okay, I'm still carrying too much. But okay. I should be able to use range on him and not be able to have to move as much to kill this guy. Down the model max backwards again. This is good. And I don't know why I had my nightingale armor off for some reason I did. I have no idea why that was. But just making sure I've got it all on now. Okay. Don't know what the hell's happening on my screen right now. It's all going a little bit crazy. A little bit crazy. Really can't see what I'm focusing on now. There he is. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let's try f some uh, dragon shouts on him. This is one of those fights where it's more patience than um, anything else. Let's try and get some double ebony war axes on him and see if we can take him down this time. As I said, he does not do much damage to you at all. You will have to go away and heal unless you've got a very high self-heal with your magic and he disappeared again come on where is he coming out he usually comes out in the middle but because I'm waiting for him he's not going to come out there he is hey buddy oh camera smiles buddy but I wanted to kill him oh. He's pulled my phone. Well, I guess that's the end of that fight. So, well, if you could really call that a fight, it was a bit disappointing. But the way it was set out, the fight it could have it could have lasted a while. So, I guess it's good that his old master betrayed him. Well, not didn't betray him kills him but I think he betrayed him or something like that I really can't remember this story and there's his weapon it looks pretty beastly and that's a skeleton of him okay we'll loot that body in a second let's listen to what this dude's got to say dragon soul absorbed oh what's this oh that's, that'll be the exit okay let's search his body and there's his mask Increases your magic by 50%, adds 5% to dragon breath and spells, staff, and his robes are very nice. And his weapon is still on the floor for some unknown reason. Let's see. Put his mask on, his boots, his gloves, and his robes. And I think we had his weapon. Um but it's on the floor, so I don't know. 
I really don't know. So yeah, that was the final fight, as I said before. A bit, uh, what Jimmy calls him, disappointing. But yeah, it is what it is, and uh, it's been a nice DLC. To to that, I was a bit, a little bit disappointed, but still, still a good DLC. And there I am, showing off the attire. If I can remember what button it is, I will do a spin around. There we go. You can see I'm in Myrax apparel and this whoa, his sword's like a, a tentacle. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see what this book does. It's going to be another skill book kind of thing, like it was the last couple of times when we did the black book. Oh, well what are these? Oh, these are all pigs. Okay. Um, not quite sure what we have to do here. Um, do I just click one? Um, I'm trying to think of something that I really don't want to test it out on. Let's see what this does. Oh, I pushed that too fast. You have no perks in this skill. What? Um, let's try this one. Spend one dragon sword to remove your enchantment perks and regain one perk point. Um, yes, no. I have no idea what they are. <laughs> oh, what it does, I'll have to read upon them. But I'm guessing it just resets all your perk points and gives you a couple back. So if you put some into a skill that you didn't want, I guess you could just reset it with this. I'm not 100% sure so don't quote me on that I'll do some reading upon it I guess but anyways that is the video for today and that ends the series for now I might come back to it in the future and do some of the side missions that I missed out or I'll do some of the rare weapons locations and showcase them off and tell you where to get them and stuff but for now that's it I hope you enjoyed it if you did Please leave a like, a comment, and remember to subscribe. You can join us on Facebook and Twitter. The links will be in the description below. And I will see you in the next video.